Hey guys, Iron here with a new video. First update on the winter seasonal server. I'll try to keep these videos in days like day one, day two and so on. So the next video is another day in the season since I do have limited time playing on them. Still, having said that, my end goal is going to be getting Tavula pin accessories. Are we going to get those? Uh, I don't know, but just by hitting level 60, 61, you get two pen accessories, which are equivalent to a Ted Crescent and a Ted Nark. Just having these two coupled with the Kaposha pen bell from Season and rewards, and then just the regular rewards for hitting 61 and 62, basically this season should propel me way, way ahead in terms of accessories. Which, let's face it, failing 14 uh, Ted Crescents in a row isn't a fun pastime. Unless you're, you're into some weird shit. I'll likely focus on the neck piece first for obvious reasons, because that's equivalent to a Ted Ogre. I took my meager quested stuff out of the vault. I think I made about a gear score of 300 with it and I went for it. As usual, I, I took my castle grind route and made level 50 in 40 minutes, which uh, hmm, is odd. I, I used the same amount of experience bonuses, roughly, but it was significantly faster than on console. Ha! <laughs> Do we have a hidden XP modifier here on PC? PA? Mm -hmm. Alright, then I headed over to Bashim, kind of forgot how I don't have full pen armors here, and I almost died by total noobness. Yeah, I guess that's an affliction here on PC, which... I currently have. Who would have thought 170 dp isn't enough? Well, that didn't stall me and I pressed on little hitting level 56 with this crap excuse for gear in the next hour or so. Total time spent from 1 to 56 with this gear 2 hours. Not too bad, right? It's pretty much the same speed as on console, but I have way way better gear there. Still, my, my console guide hang till my console guide here does pretty well had to do manual press potions because uh, my fairy here is one hell of a lazy fairy I then headed to the next team I then headed to the main quest line finished a few pieces then seasons had another surprise for me skill point books that give you a really really nice amount of additional skill points pretty pretty nice Headed to Crown Castle for the main quest line to burn some tents and hoo 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 boy was it jam packed in here. Everybody seems to be waiting for a tent update. I stood there for like 5 minutes like total idiot mashing the R button on my keyboard in hopes a tent would spawn and I would get it. And yeah the uh, only thing that I got from it was a mashed R button. Good thing I can switch out the switches if one breaks on my keyboard. Then it dawned on me. Hey, wait a second. Arsha server season. <laughs> Let's check it out. And yeah, there's like nobody there. Got the update. Guess PCs for PvE scraps only? <laughs> Who don't venture into the Arsha server? <laughs> Guess uh, I'm gonna fit right in here. Because uh, yeah, I, I'm a total PvE scrap. So yeah, there we go. I, I, I then finished up with Heidel and was sent to Gilch, but it was already way too late. Castle Nova at this point was training on dummies on her way to level 56. I mean level 57. And I then parked PC Nova next to a dummy as well. So that when I got up both would gain a level. Hopefully next time I put out an update we will have Pride to Vala gear. I already have a nice amount of those seasonal stones and already got a bunch of stuff and rewards which let's face it, it's it, it's pretty fun. If I hadn't cheated with the uh, quest items my gear score right now after a decent evening of gaming time would uh, be probably around this and probably slightly lower since I then couldn't one shot everything. Iron Cheater 9k confirmed guys. I don't know.